Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. My name is Nathan and today we're going to be taking a look at a new upcoming League of Legends champion, Viego, the Rune King. I'm very excited for this champion. Apparently he's supposed to be a new jungler from what I've been reading and hearing about him. Today I want to go over his abilities and share some of my thoughts on him. Now Viego, I'm excited for him because it's cool to see actual items in the game of League come to life of the people who are actually behind them. I know I've been waiting a long time for Riot to do that and it's so awesome to see Viego you know with the Blade of the Rune King and him this is where you get the name. So he's actually named after this item in the game. Another person I've been waiting for is Dorn after Dorn's ring and um, I know that uh, champions always talk about him so it'd be cool to see more champions like this come out in the future and it's cool to see Riot implementing this system where uh, items that are named in the game, they're actually coming to life as champions. So so yeah, so let's take a look at Viego. Now this is his artwork, you can see here on the screen. He's looking pretty cool, kind of looking like a, uh, like a gothic emo devil child. <laughs> I don't know how else you want to put that. But he looks like he'd also be in a uh, boy band, you know, flipping his hair and doing all the crazy stuff um, he looks pretty cool and uh, I like his sword he got going on there he's got like a green glowing sword and I'm, I'm assuming that's supposed to be the blade of the rune king but just in a different form and it's pretty cool to see that now let's get into Viego's abilities now his Viego's passive is called sovereign um, sovereign domination now it says when Viego can temporarily possess enemy champions he helps kill Healing for a portion of their max health during possession, Viego's items, attacks, and non-ultimate abilities become those of his slain enemies, and he gains a free cast of his own ultimate, Heartbreaker. While possessing an enemy, Viego also gets bonus movement speed when moving toward enemy champion. Excuse me. So basically, the way I see this passive is they took old Mordekaiser's ultimate. And gave Viego in his passive. So, good job, Riot. Good job uh, coming up with new ideas there. I'll, I'll give you a hand. But no, it's it's cool to see that... Um, it's interesting that he gains a free cast his own ultimate heartbreaker. That's... Wow, that seems really strong. This seems like it's on a reset, right? I don't know if it's going to be reset, but... It says, during possession, items, attacks, and non-ultimate abilities become those of slain enemies. And he gains free cast of his own ultimate. That's pretty broken. I mean, that sounds like a Darius R, but now you get to cast your ultimate over and over and over again. Um, which, if you just keep possessing people, like if you get a Penta, you're going to be, um, basically it's going to be you versus the enemy team. <laughs> you're going to be like 1v5ing one one by yourself. It's going to be interesting, but we'll see how this comes to play. This looks like a, um, a multiple Mordekaiser old ultimate, so sounds pretty cool. So yeah, when I first think of this ability, I think of Mordekaiser and his old uh, ultimate ability, and it should be interesting to see how they're going to bring this into gameplay. Alright, next we have um, Viego's Q, which is called Blade of the Ruined King. Passive. Dangerous attacks deal percent, percent of the target's current health as bonus damage on hit. So. The item. When Viego attacks an enemy, he recently hit with his ability. The attack strikes twice. The second strike siphons health from the target instead of dealing regular damage, but still applies on the effects and can the strike. So, play the game. This passive is maintained. Viego stabs forward with his blade, damaging all enemies. It's so funny to me that Riot comes out with these cool looking new champions and then they have an ability like this. What does this Q do? Oh, he stabs forward and just does damage. Really right? So it's just funny to me that you get these cool champion looking designs and then it, well, his ability is just he stabs forward and that's it. <laughs> it's kind of a boring ability. But I mean, I guess I understand where they're trying to go with this. So I don't know. It looks kind of cool. But that's cool that basically. I wonder. I'm curious to see. If this is, it doesn't say you can passive, it just says a passive, so I wonder if you can still build Blade of the Rune King on it. 
and his stack with his Q ability. So, pretty broken, right? I mean, if you have double the bonus current target health as bonus damage on hit, and you're going to double that for each hit. I, mean, so, I don't know how they're going to roll with that, but we'll see if they end up uh, doing that or not. All right. Next, we have Viego's W, which is called Special. And it says Viego starts up and then dashes forward, hurling a blast of mist that stuns Stun duration and miss range increase with charge time, damage, and damage. Okay. So, I guess because he's going to be a jungler, I guess these are going to be some sweet ganks hiding from the bush. So, this is basically their base. So, Riot's saying, let's take Flash wind up ability when you, after you use it, that the. It's the flash. After you use a flash in uh, the tree, you can get a temporary flash. You can wind up. Anybody can just correct me on that. I don't remember what the name is, but yes. Okay, the wind up. They basically took that and said, hey, let's throw it on his W. And after he dashed forward, he throws a mist at him. So they basically took your put it in a wind up, and then after you throw it at him, yeah. I can see where Riot's getting uh, really creative. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, but, you know, it's cool to see kind of all the Shadow Riots, you know, champions kind of mixed together and come into form into one champion. It's really what's happening. You're seeing the Kaiser, you're seeing York, you're seeing the Blade of the Rune King item already on this guy. So it's going to be interesting to see, you know, how they're going to I haven't watched too much gameplay of him, uh, but I'm excited to check him out. He's going to be a strong player, especially with all his moves that are coming out. So we'll see. All right. Next, we have Carlos Pass, which is his E ability. Diego spreads a wave of black mist around a nearby wall. While in the mist, Diego Wave of blackness around a nearby wall. So, it's a Koyana's ability, his her R, and put it into a B and said, Hey, while you're fighting on Tunnel Domain, you're going to camouflage. It's pretty cool. I mean, um, it's really interesting. It's, to me, it's like, it's like you want to bait people into fighting you. Because if he's going to be gaining all these buffs while you're fighting someone, but you have to be on the fight, you're definitely going to want to be fighting people near walls, right? I mean, if you're not near a wall, then he's going to be, it's going to suck not to be able to get them. So, should be interesting with how he deals with ganks and whatnot. I thought it's kind of weird that the Harrowed Path is against uh, Camouflage. I think it's kind of cool, but... I don't know if you're going to be able to use that to like manipulate enemy champions, maybe. We can see here as he's using his ability, it's spreading around, and I don't know, it's pretty cool. I don't know if you're just, if it's in a certain spot, or is it, because it's like while in the, oh, it's while in the mist. So, while he's in the mist, for how many seconds or whatever, he just can't watch the whole time. So, that's pretty cool. You should be able to use that, because I know most people are blind when it comes to leave anyways. Talking to you, bro. Silver players. You need to learn to watch your mini map. Alright? And uh, you need to make sure you're dropping those wards. So if you get if you can't see this dude in his camouflage when you got a big that's not good. <laughs> you shouldn't be playing league. You need to uninstall that right away. So we'll see. But yeah, that's it. Harrowed Path. Alright, last but not least, we got his Heartbreaker. Discards any bodies he is currently attacking the enemy champion in range with the healing bonus damage based on the enemies in range are knocked away. Wow. This is going to be a really good. If you can pull it off, he might have assassin. Because of his ult. It reminds me a lot of Rexxar's 
bolt. Yeah. Basically, it's Rex size ult. But now you knock champions away. You should be able to jump in. You can see he's jumping in. He's teleporting. Diego discards the champion range with Okay. I guess you have to kill somebody first because you got So he's gonna take some kills. You're definitely gonna wanna stack kills on this guy. You're not gonna be able to get him. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting. Um, my final thoughts on Diego so far is he seems like a bunch of mixed champions, uh, especially in the Shadow Isles. But also, um, Riot is not getting super creative with this. <laughs> I don't know if they're running out of ideas or what, but it seems like they're just trying to use other people's abilities and turning them into something cooler, you know. But that's games, right? Eventually, you're not going to be able to have a ton of ideas who you want to put into your game but i don't know my final thoughts on this guy he looks really cool i'm excited to play him i'm hoping that he's gonna work out i'm i'm thinking that he might work well as a good assassin from his abilities and the reason i say that is because of his art if you're going to be able to possess somebody and then stack that up and then go able to dive onto somebody else and execute them right away because you're attacking the enemy champion range with the lowest percent health so you're definitely going to want to jump on like people who are squishy like 80 carries and do a bunch of damage and get out. I mean, that sounds very assassin right? So we'll see. But yeah, so that was Viego, the Ruined King. I know he's going to be coming out with patch 11.2. I am looking forward to seeing him. Let me know what you guys' thoughts um, and comments down at the bottom of the video. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys think he's going to be cool or... Uh, do you think that uh, Riot needs to step up their game with creating new champions? I don't know. His artwork looks cool, but we'll see. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Uh, feel free to hit the subscription, the subscribe button. Um, that would help us out a lot and like the video. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. All right, take care, guys.